Look at you. You are so ugly. Ouch. That's a very rude word that you use in English for people who are unattractive. You don't do that. That's mean. Well, not always people look attractive, beautiful, amazing, fantastic. There are times when people look a little unattractive as well. So in English, I have seven idioms and expressions that you can use when someone is not so attractive. So let's have a look. Hey friends, welcome back. You're with me Naharika. And in today's lesson, we are going to look at seven English idioms or expressions that you can use for the people who are a little unattractive. Yes, these are some expressions related to beauty and appearance, but they are negative idioms. We have learned positive idioms where people look absolutely stunning and beautiful, but in this lesson, these are some expressions that you can use for the people who look a little unattractive. So which are these expressions? Well, let's start with the first one, which is down at heel. Now someone who is down at heel, it means he has a very untidy or a neglected appearance because of lack of money. Now someone who is not doing so well in life, of course has no money to maintain himself or herself, right? They're not going to end up spending money on their clothes, buying expensive shoes, buying expensive makeup and look nice and pretty, right? Because of lack of money, they would end up having a very untidy or a very neglected appearance. And this is a great expression to use for such people. So there was a student in my class who was really down at heel because he had a very untidy appearance. Okay. Moving on to the second English expression that I have for you is face like a bulldog chewing a wasp. Well, have you seen a bulldog before? Well, he's an adorable, cute dog, but bulldog has a very funny face. Well, a drooling, a wrinkled face. And so if you imagine a bulldog chewing on a wasp, what an ugly expression that would be. Well, wasp is an insect. Okay, so now just imagine you have a bulldog sitting next to you who is getting hold of an insect and trying to chew it with his wrinkly, droopy face. What an ugly expression, right? So this is a great humorous expression that you can use for a person who has a very ugly expression, okay? So a friend of yours who looks really funny and uh, she's having these weird expressions on her face. Well, use this. Ah, look at your face. Your face is like a bulldog chewing a wasp. What's wrong with you? Okay, that's how you can use it in your conversation. Moving on to the third expression, uh, which is related to beauty and appearance, is face that would stop a clock. <laughs> That's shockingly unattractive. Can you imagine a face which is definitely not attractive and that kind of a face can stop a clock? Yeah. Now, there are people who do not look 
great. I mean, I would not say ugly because ugly is such a mean word to use. I don't use such expressions at all. So, but yes, there are people who are pretty unattractive and you don't find them good looking, handsome, fabulous. So this is a great expression to use because it sounds a little funny and it's a great way to use it in English. So, ah, you won't miss my friend. Well, you can pick him up and he definitely has a face that would stop a clock. So you are saying it to your friend who is planning to pick up another friend of yours and probably they haven't met before. So that's how you are using this expression because this friend of yours is not very attractive. So this is an expression used for an unattractive person. Okay, uh, let's move on to the fourth expression that I have for you, which is a mutton dressed as lamb. Yeah, now this expression is another funny expression that you can use for a middle-aged woman who tries to dress up like a young woman. Yes, like a young girl rather. So I went to this party last weekend and there was this woman who was maybe 45 years old and she was dressed in this tight gown. Well, fat bulging out from every side of her body. But yes, she was wearing this tight gown, which was a beautiful gown, but it would have looked attractive on a 20 year old girl. So we were like, oh my God, did you see that woman? Well, she looked like a mutton dressed as a lamb. So mutton is a grown lamb and lamb is the little baby lamb, right? So it's a great funny expression to use for a middle-aged woman. Who dresses up like a young girl. Okay, moving on to the fifth expression that I have for you. Well, it's thin on the top. So thin on the top, well, do you use this expression for thin, skinny people? Not exactly. Well, this expression is specifically used for men who are losing their hair. Yes, well, they are going bald. Well, it's a very touchy thing for men. They hate losing their hair. And I can totally imagine that. But yes, this is an expression that you can use for the people who are losing their hair. I know, that's sad. Well, I used it on my dad because recently I have noticed that he is losing his hair. Yes, so I said, hey dad, look at you, you're going thin on the top. So thin on the top is used for men who are going bald. Okay, uh, let's have a look at uh, another expression which is vertically challenged. Yes, what does this really mean? Well, vertically challenged is a great expression that you can use for tall people? No. Well, it's a great expression that you can use for people who are not so tall, which means they are short. Yeah, well, when you tell people that oh, you are so short, they don't like it. It's like you're making fun of them. Well, a better expression to make fun of them is by saying, look at you, you're so vertically challenged. So yeah, you can use it among your friends. Don't use it for people whom you don't know. They can be really offended. So just use it among your friends. So a friend of yours who is not so tall, but is really short, 
Well, you can say you are vertically challenged. Okay? And then the last expression that I have for you is five o'clock shadow. So what does this really mean? Well, I met a friend of mine yesterday, I bumped into him and I was like, hey, we're going for a movie. Why don't you come join us? And he was like, no, I think I'm gonna skip. Look at my five o'clock shadow. Yes, now what does that really mean? Well, five o'clock shadow is again used for men specifically um, who have a very untidy stubble, okay? Probably they haven't shaved for a couple of days now and uh, it doesn't look neat and clean. Well, the stubble looks really untidy and therefore this is a great expression that they can use. So someone who has not shaved for a couple of days now Okay, and have a very untidy stubble. Well, that's a five o'clock shadow for them. Okay, so these are interesting and funny seven negative expressions related to beauty and appearance. So the next time you spot an unattractive or an ugly person, please don't say that you are unattractive or ugly. Instead, use one of these seven expressions and I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care.